What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Let's talk about a bitch quest world future in this video. Let's get into it. Welcome back. Okay, so uh, Artix today tweeted out the design, or not design, uh, sort of like what they're planning on doing with Adventure Quest Worlds in the future, if you're curious uh, what the future of Adventure Quest Worlds is, maybe why the server rewrite is taking so long, all this stuff like that. I mean, I don't know why the server rewrite is taking so long, that's unexplainable, but <laughs> I mean, I'm sure someone has an explanation, but this document is confidential property of Artix Entertainment LLC for official staff use only, dot dot dot. Unless Artix links this on Twitter. OMG. Did he link this on Twitter? For fuck's sake, Artix. <laughs> so Artix linked this on Twitter. I thought we'd go over it in this video. So phase one was WebGL character loader complete. I showed the video in a previous news episode. It's here and I just wanted to share with you this thing um, because this is not Flash. That is uh, WebGL. And I don't think I need to tell you where this is going. <laughs> this isn't new. Well, this is kind of a news video, but it's not Thursday. Thursday will still have the normal, regular scheduled news video. I just uh, thought this was interesting and to make a video on this by itself. So in phase two, dynamically loading assets and animated game character reviews. Uh, so confirm diagnosis. What's that? Dino? I've never seen this word before, but I'm going to guess it means big payment sent to all team members helping on this. So they, I, th from what I heard from Artix, uh, from what I think he said on, he might have said this on Twitter, um, they hired a whole other team to work on the development of AQ Worlds for mobile. And of course they'll have like a, I think they'll have a Steam client. It'll be an upgraded version on the web version will be upgraded to 60 FPS or Hopefully they go above 60 FPS because uh, recently I saw a survey that was done and 144 hertz or above 60 hertz monitors are selling a lot more uh, than they were in like just last year alone. So they're getting more and more popular. So hopefully they'll do above 60 FPS. Like even before I had a 144 hertz, I had an 85 hertz monitor. So I don't. Hopefully they do higher refresh rates than 60, but 60 is still good. That's like the standard uh, these days. Artix needs a copy of the latest clients to review it, the code, okay. Uh, stamp of approval on the textures, uh, character rigs, the backgrounds, stuff like that. And uh, then they move on to phase three, build new WebGL character page. Char I love the Artix Entertainment character page. If you guys have never been on the character page, you can get a screenshot of your character on here. You can't do this with AQ3D, and I really wish you could. So if you want a screenshot of your character, uh, you can make your character smaller, you can move your character around. Uh, you can change the background uh, and if you put it if you double tap to the left there it'll make it so there's no background on your character and you can make your character small that's how i get my uh, screenshots so the character page is really nice uh for with flash uh so they gotta do an upgraded version for webgl hopefully it won't take three years to load when you try to make your character smaller and move them around and stuff that would be very cool um placeholder graphics yeah because 10,000 plus items need to be converted into webgl from flash if you don't know okay i'll quick explanation is a 10 second explanation here so aq worlds the game engine it runs on is flash it's going to move over to webgl which is html5 uh html5 replaced flash uh back when the iphone came out because the iphone's popularity uh, and it's more secure than Flash, so it became the standard because of its uh, better security and the popularity of the iPhone. So that's why HTML5 is big now, and Flash is basically all but dead. Uh, like Firefox doesn't even support, well, it still supports Flash, but doesn't officially support Flash anymore. Um, Captain Rebarge, database fields, art stuff, create uh, queries. So build a multiplayer prototype. You see a Venture Quest server, right? So I assume that means that they're gonna finish server right before we get the mobile slash uh, 60 FPS version of the game. A uh, one map scrolling. So I thought this was very interesting. So right now in AQ, uh, you load into a map, right? You slash join a map, and then you got different areas, and you have to load into each area as you go sideways. So like you have a boss room, you have rooms where you do uh, certain different quests and stuff. I don't think this would work 
for the locked rooms because so, you still have to like some quests to lock off the bosses from being accessible and like some quests like open up like hidden rooms and stuff like that so you'd have to work around that and still probably lock some of the boss rooms and stuff i think in every room the boss should be separate because people farm the boss and even with a 60 fps client it could get a little laggy when you're farming a boss still with the the intensive items it's a 2d game but when you get like six players or maybe the one to up the player count per room who knows it could get more laggy uh so i want them to lock off the boss room still but i don't know if that's technically possible we'll, we'll have to see what happens with this but i thought that was interesting multiple cells i'm not sure what that means i thought that was already a thing in the game maybe that's what i was just explaining how you have to lock off the boss room and stuff like that maybe that's what that it means uh move chat add pets <laughs> movement you know that's very very uh important of course now okay this is this is where stuff gets really interesting in phase four now all the stuff i'm talking about right here th this stuff probably won't happen for a long time so don't expect next week for some of these updates to be coming well this is all this is all just a build plan for internal development anyway so you won't see any of this for a long time anyway but don't expect any of this stuff to be anywhere near adventure quest worlds for I'd say I'm not gonna give a time frame, but man, it's gonna be way in the future, right? But still, it's gonna hopefully one day it'll eventually be finished. Um, create a game interface, very important. Revise gameplay. Any changes? Question mark. Answer is yes. So they're gonna be making changes to the gameplay of Adventure Quest Worlds. Now, from what I can tell, I've been playing the game for quite a while. Gameplay's been about the same since the game came out. I mean, they've made small little changes to make the game a little bit better and stuff like that, but we haven't had any huge gameplay overhauls, uh, overhauls for a long time. And seeing gameplay changes, I I'm excited for it. Uh, I hope there's some cool stuff. Uh, I'm, I can think of a few things that would make Adventure Quest Worlds better. Maybe I'll make a separate video about that. Actually, yeah, that's gonna be a planned video. Uh, I'll think, uh, I'll make a list and I'll, I'll put that into a video form um so yeah new gameplay changes that's huge uh, but of course that's extra stuff they'll probably add that new hmm. i don't know if they're if i don't know if they're releasing after this like releasing an alpha after this uh they don't have like i wonder if they're gonna let players test i would really love a test version a public test version maybe for members or uh, like a membership perk for adventure Coast worlds or something that'd be really cool even if like there's no purchases or anything and they're just to, like walk around in 60 fps like oh that'd be so nice i really hope they do a test version of the game uh like i yeah even if it like it doesn't like yeah well, like you would know it'd be buggy and broken but it'd be so cool to see early versions of the game um lots of stuff too scary to think of so we will not <laughs> phase five game impl implementation it words Okay, so that is the whole document. That's insane. So the stuff that's applied for the future of Adventure Quest Worlds is gonna be insane. Now about Flash. So right now, uh, the only way to play this game is on a Flash-enabled browser. So like your phone, like your iPhone's browser won't be able to do this. You need to install a special browser. But if they ported this game over to HTML5, you could just load up onto your phone and play it in your normal browser. Uh, technically, uh, you would be able to do that. I think if they had uh, WebGL enabled in your browser, I don't know how phone browsers really work. I don't really use mine at all. Um, but technically, that would be a, a thing available. But they plan on making it cross-platform, which means there'll be an application in the Apple Store, or the Android Store, maybe Kindle. I don't know if that's a separate store right? or if they even do that, maybe. Uh, they probably should because I think there's a big install base for that. Uh, you should look into that if anyone from Artix Entertainment is watching. I think there's a semi-large install base for that. Um, but uh, what else? And of course, maybe Steam. Uh, hopefully Steam. It, it, and I hope they have PC-specific options. Uh, they don't do this on AQ3D and they really should. I don't know why they don't because some phones can handle like some mobile phones can handle like higher end graphics so i don't know why they don't have like higher end uh stuff uh for the higher end devices uh, i really wish they'd do that in the, that's like that's like a polish sort of thing that you do way after beta but uh or maybe before beta i don't know but uh i hope they add more polish and stuff like that to the 
PC version, like some quality of life stuff, maybe a refresh rate over 60, stuff like that would be really cool for the PC version. And yeah, that's about all I have to say about this. Uh, if you guys have any comments or any thoughts about this, I'd love to see that in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. I guess that'll be, actually, there might be an upload tomorrow too. Every day, am I going to upload a video every day this week on Adventure Quest Worlds? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. I'll leave a link to my second channel down below. I will upload a video after this one to there. Uh, that's on different games. That's what my second channel is for. So if you want to check that out, that'll be there. And I'll probably be streaming tonight on Twitch. So if you want to check out my Twitch channel, that'll be in the description down below also. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.